my name is Caleb Marshall. Um, I'm the son of Keith Marshall, who founded this dairy farm with him and his uh, brother and his dad. And what we're about to look at is a room full of robotic milking machines that we're really excited to show you. So come along and look at it. All right, so what you're seeing here is a Laley Astronaut robotic milking machine. So this machine runs 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, or 366 days if it's a leap year. Um, so what it's doing right now, if you can get the camera up on it, is before it milks every cow, it does a two cycle cleaning process where it just tries to wipe off any grind that might be on the cow's udders or teats. And it comes back, sprays it with like a sanitizing solution and dries it off so it's ready for the milker. So a way that the system works is whenever the cow goes into it, um, in the bucket up front, it receives a treat that's like grain, barley, and oats. And that, what that does is it, it creates a positive feedback loop for the cow to want to keep on coming into the machine all by itself, voluntarily, and get milk. Now, if you put the camera up close, you'll see some lasers pop out. And it seems like it's reading the cow's teeth, and that's exactly what's happening. So, you see, if you can see the red laser right there, what it's doing is it's triangulating the location of the cow's teats and it's putting out the suction cups and sticking it right on, which is, machines are actually really cool. So um, they were designed in the Netherlands as a response to like a labor shortage over there. They just couldn't find enough people to milk cows. And that's something we're seeing over here in the United States. So what you're seeing is a lot of American agriculture, whether it's in dairy or not, uh, make a move towards robotic um, machinery to help with this labor. And something that's really cool, is if you look over here, so there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, but essentially, once it starts milking the cow, it comes into this bowl right here. But there's a lot of other things we do that make sure the milk is safe and healthy. So we actually... So we actually test the milk every time it gets, um, comes through the system to make sure it's healthy. And if it's not, we have a system to spray it out and so that it doesn't go into human consumption. But if not, it goes into the milk tank, which we'll show you later. But another really cool thing, oh, another really cool thing about the system is you kind of have a front row seat to how the cow operates. So on average, this cow takes roughly 13 minutes to milk which is honestly kind of a, like a high amount of time for it, but it could be an older cow and it might just take a little more time. But what's really cool about these machines is they really get to know the cow and see, okay, what should the cow be doing? How do they operate? And how, roughly how much milk should I expect? And then um, us as the dairy farmer, we can go into the system and look at the data on, data on the cow and see, okay, exactly how much are they producing? So that way we can better cycle them off into um, their dry season. So something kind of unique you'll see at our farm is it's not monochromatic or you won't see just one type of cow. If you can kind of look around here, you see brown, black. That one looks almost like a tiger right there and just all types of cows. And so cows produce different types of things. They're just different creatures all in all. So what you usually see with the black and white cows, we call those Holsteins. They produce just on average a lot more milk than other cows. But what you'll see with these more like reddish brown cows is they'll, their milk will have a lot more fat and protein content in it, so it's richer milk. And what we're trying to do in this herd is we try to get a mix of, the, of both of them. And something I really want to point out here is the fact that how voluntary this entire system is. You know, cows are naturally creatures of habit and they have their own kind of uh, schedule throughout the day. But something they like to do and something that's definitely built into that schedule is going in and getting their treat and getting milk. So we, this one just kind of moved away, but if you kind of focus the camera all the way down, you put it at a little higher angle, you can see all these cows lining up for their turn to get milk, which really shows you that this is a very positive experience for them. It's something that they look forward to and they're happy animals. Something that's really important to dairy farmers and us especially is cow comfort. Something farmers realized um, a long time ago is the more comfortable and happy the animal is, the more it produces. And just, I want to emphasize that point right here. So each cow actually has their own water bed, you know, cause you got to imagine the animal's 1200 pounds and you don't want it laying on a hard surface and hurting his joints. So if you can kind of, you actually see, they're all just sitting on a water bed and honestly, it might be a little nicer than the beds I got to sleep on. <laughs> but another really cool thing is 
like no pun intended, but it's actually all the fans in the building. So something we really want to emphasize in the summer is the cows staying cool and comfortable. And you can probably see roughly 20 to 25 fans just throughout here and then up there on the top of the ceiling. Another thing that we do to keep the cows comfortable is once it gets past a certain degree point, like 80 or 85 degrees, you actually see those rings up there. They'll blow mist all over the cows and it's like they're standing in line at a roller coaster park if you've ever done that. And they stay really cool and comfortable. And you know, you get, they really do like it here. They'll come up and say hello to us every now and then. This one's a nice one. First thing I'll talk about is the identifying tag. So this is just so we know like which one she is, like how, how she's been milking. And the first two numbers, they're actually, they indicate when she was born. So this cow was born in 2019. And another piece of jewelry I want to point out is her Laylee necklace, right? So I talked about that a little earlier, but the Laylee necklace, once it goes into the milking machine, it, the robot actually recognizes it and can tell, okay, this is this cow, this is how much it's been milking. This one really wants to get pet right now. <laughs> right. So what you're seeing right now is kind of the buffet line for the cows. You know, if you know anything about these creatures is they like to eat a lot of food. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the feed. So we're an organic dairy farm, meaning the food we feed these cows, we don't spray any pesticides on them and we're uh, pretty much entirely natural. So they get a lot of natural food. And what their food content is made out of is one, you have a lot of grass and solage, which is kind of the brown stuff you see. But if you look closer, you'll see a lot of corn, peanuts, and soybeans kind of mixed into their grain. And what this is, is it's a highly nutritious blend for the cows and it uh, keeps them very healthy and helps them produce a lot of milk. And so what you see here is the other way we like to feed. So this is essentially an entirely robotic way to feed. So um, at certain times during the day, you'll see this carriage here. It'll dump the grain and uh, solids it has into this bucket here. And that'll mix it up and by itself, it'll go out onto these rails, if you can see it on the top here, and it'll actually feed the cows. So what's cool about this is it does it at all times of the day. So you don't have to actually have someone come in and feed them. And it just provides a nice supplementary uh, nutrition for the cows.